Today is a Thursday, May the 23rd, 2024. I've got something here I think you're going to be interested in. It took me quite a while to figure this out. I was... I've been on the internet trying to find out the correct way to put um, the small coax with these little adapters, what they call a UG something or another. They're called a UG175U. That's what these things are called, UG175U. Anyway, and they screw into the back of the, the PL259. Well, I got charmed by this uh, RG400, not LMR400, but RG, RG400. And I wanted to start using it. But it's the same size as RG58. And when I did it exactly by the book, you, uh, you prepare it. I've already prepared it, so you don't have to watch me struggle. You know, everybody prepares things their own way. And then you put this thing up like this, and you push this back over it. That's why, whoops, that's why all the books say to do it. Like that. So I read the books. I mean, even the old books. <laughs> way back, you know, way back in the 60s and the 50s. That's the way they say do it. And when I put it in here, and I put it all together, soldered and everything, it, it turns up shorted. It just turns up shorted every darn time. And I'm like, what, is, what in the world am I doing wrong? Well, I finally figured it out. I said, you know, there's got to be something wrong. There's got to be something different. And here's what's different. Here is what's different, but I have a solution. I don't know how well you can see down inside this thing with the light and everything, but I think you can see that gold ring in there. Get it as close as I can without... Mm, See that gold ring in it? That is actually flush with the uh, dielectric. The dielectric here is Teflon. This is PTFE stuff. This is good stuff. These are good connectors. And they are just error free, so to speak. I'm using that big LMR400. I love LMR400. I uh, use crimp and I use solder. I do whatever I, whatever the moment tells me. Okay, you see what happens? Well, here's what happens. is When you put this thing in right here, and you screw it all the way into here, this ends up shorting out against that uh, against that little gold center pin. It does. Darn thing shorts out. Okay, so I got some bunch of old ones. I got a bunch of old ones that I've cleaned up really nice. These are even harder to see. But if you look down in there, this is not Teflon, it's phenolic, I think. The, uh, the pin here is recessed. It, it's it's not. I, I can see it clearly. I'm not, sorry. I'm, I, I look down and go. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. Can you see it? Uh, so when when this, if this presses up against this, it's actually not pressing up against anything that's conductive because, like I say, this pin, this pin doesn't go all the way back uh, to the very end of the of the dielectric like this does. Problem solved almost. Almost. But how do you use the new ones? Well, I found out two different ways. Here, one is to have a bunch of uh, little uh, O-rings. They come in a big box. I a big box of O-rings. I mean, see a big box of O-rings? You can buy these things for like five or six dollars, so it's not like a lot of money. By the way, the diameter of this coax right here is 730 seconds. I don't know what it is in millimeters, but 730 seconds, and you can use a 730 seconds drill in case you get reusing one and you want to drill this out. Okay, so here's what I found out. I can take one of these, one of these little O-rings, and I can put it over the coax here, like that. Yep, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it, I can do it, I can. There you go, see like that. And then when I put it into this one, it actually perfectly covers that little hole. I need to really show you that. I need to really show you that. Okay, here, here's a piece that I've, I've cut off. Let me get this darn Band-Aid off. I, uh, I really, I injure my thumb working so much. Okay, let's put this thing on here like that. 
and then see when I put this thing down in that hole right there see you can actually shove this uh, this coax it in through the hole as long as it's uh, you get it you get it square on sorry for the fumbling but you can you can shove this thing in there can you see can you kind of see that it covers it it covers that uh, that piece of metal covers it perfectly it does a beautiful job also also if you don't want to if you don't want to do it that way if you don't want to do it that way you know put it on here then I also found out see these little uh, Fillmore brand flat washer it's a number six part number Fillmore part number 10-506C you can put that on it you can put this Oops, I don't want to get but one. My fingers are sticky. You could put this on the end of it. It's just at my when I when I cut the uh, darn when I cut the uh, coax. It, uh, you know, it, it's not round. It got squished a little. It's got to round it off a little. You got to round it up a little bit. And I'm I'm making a mess here. See how that goes on there. And then you could put that here. I'll show you. If you put that, you can drop it down in there. You can see it, and it covers it. You can still see a little bit of the gold here and there, but that's going to protect. That's going to keep this from shorting against that gold pen. Either one of these, or maybe both, if you're really neurotic about it, you know. Put this one on first. Uh, Let's see, we put this one on first, put this one on second. I'm gonna just I'm gonna assemble it. Okay, like that. Oh yeah, gotta gotta sorry, gotta get the uh, gotta get the stripper here. And see we're gonna need to strip about you don't need to strip all of it. You don't have to cut it down too far because the uh, sorry, gotta keep it here on the camera. Because the um, the uh, center conductor at 7:30 second stuff will actually go down in it. Oh my goodness! It's awful to get old and weak. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, gotta do a little touch up here. Gotta kind of free this back out. Yeah, I, I built it, some of these things, and I'm so confident that I went in there and it didn't work. I brought it back out. I said, well, which end is shorted? The way that I can find out which end is shorted is by measuring the capacitance of it with a little capacitance meter. You know, the, where, where the, the one that's not shorted will show you some capacitance in the, in the wire, and the one that is shorted, well, it'll be zero. Well, they were both zero. I said, that's no, I'm not that unlucky, am I? Okay. All right, see there, I haven't even damaged it yet. Slide that up in there. Now, I've got both of them on this one. I don't know if we actually need both of them or if that's even a good idea. But it, it does tighten down. Right there. Look at there. And you know what? It's not going to be shorted. I'm going to prove it to you. I didn't know that, but I, I got to thinking. I said, you know, there's got to be something different about the about the new um, I guess you can see the meter here. Yeah. Let's see if it's shorted in any way here. Okay, there is to the case, so we know my our old meter's good in there and there. Not shorted. Because I'm gonna say it again. When you when you push this, when you push the braid back and put it on there, it just it just doesn't work because of that difference. Because of the difference in the in these two. That's it really as long as I need to make this video. I mean, you don't need to see me solder it and and and, and put the and put the casing on it and everything. The only thing you got to solder is here. You can solder that if you want to. I'm not going to. I don't think it's necessary. This is this is the way the book recommends. 
I, like I say, I do solder. Oh yeah, I did want to show you that. When I do solder it, when I do solder it, uh, different people have different techniques for that. And I'll show you what I do here for that. Should have gotten it on already, but it didn't. I use this guy right here. Let me show you. This is a soldering gun. Is that the one? No, that's not the one. It's this one right here. Let me show you this guy. This guy's worth seeing. See, this thing is 240 and 325 watts. That's what I use to solder. And if I'm going to solder it, I let the solder down get really hot. I'm not going, and then I, I get the solder, and I put the corner of this thing down in the hole. I, you got to get this thing hot too, of course. Down in the corner, stick a little solder in there. Try not to get solder, of course, in the threads. And I, I, I mean, get it hot. Get it hot and get it over with. And then turn it around. You need a vise usually, and then turn it and solder, 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 solder all four holes, but. Get your solder, get your soldering gun so you can get it hot and get it over with. I think it's better to do it that way than to try to heat the darn thing up with a 40 or 50 watt solder and pencil, and it just gets hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. You, you know, it takes you 10 minutes to do it. But uh, this right here works. LMR, no, 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 RG 400. I really like it. It's kind of stiff. But it's double shielded. Okay, I will show you one more thing. The way that I do it, I don't have all of those fancy tools. I just very gently score it. Just go around it, wearing my my glasses so I can see, and just score it. Not not even cutting it all the way down. And then, hopefully you can see this. Then I just score it again, not cutting all the way down, just barely just barely scoring it until the very end, right at the very tip right here, I cut it deep because I'm going to trim all that off <laughs> you got to get a hold of it there you go, and then this stuff comes off, see I didn't even cut, maybe I didn't cut quite deep enough to make it a little easier, but anyway you can peel this stuff off there you go see, and it's not damaged this is double shielded, double double silver shielded. See there? See there's one shield. There's a second one. PTFE, Teflon. I just wish it wasn't so darn stiff. Anyway, I think the secret is uh, either using one or both of these guys. To keep it from shorting, I, I don't want to. I don't want to drive everybody crazy, telling you about it too many times. But that's the secret. I knew there had to be something. These old ones are different, and uh, sometimes you know you can save them. I will save a lot of things. Okay, well I hope that helps, and uh, thank you guys for keeping in touch with me. I, I sure appreciate it. You're, you're a wonderful bunch out there.